And welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It is, of course, Mike Ferry with you this week. It's the week of September 18th, September, October, November, December. Time is running out. If you have not had the kind of year that you want to have, it is not too late to recover and make this a strong finish. Too often I see agents that say, Mike, it's been a tough year and I've had a real battle and I've had personal problems and I haven't succeeded, so I'm not going to start now. I'm just going to wait till the first of the year. You've wasted a year if you take that attitude. Let's take the last three and a half months and make them productive and let's make them strong because that will make your Christmas much better. It'll make your January closings more exciting because you'll have income. But I also meet agents all the time that will say to me, Mike, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, best nine months of my life. I'm going to kick back and take a little time off and relax. No, no, no. When you're hot, you're hot. Momentum is on your side. Press more than ever. Okay, we're continuing with the Mike Ferry sales system. The next phase would be administration and staffing. Now, I know a lot of you do not have an assistant, should not have an assistant, and don't want an assistant. But there's going to be a point when you're doing 30 to 35 transactions where you're going to look carefully, should you get somebody to help you? Now, if your broker has the transaction coordinator, yippee. I hope you're using them. If your broker has a listing coordinator, yippee, use them. If you have access to a great title rep, a great mortgage rep, if you have a great escrow officer, always use those parties to the maximum because they're there to help you be free of the burden of this work so you can list and sell more property. But at mo most cases, 35 to 40 deals, you're going to hire an assistant. Let's talk about that a little bit today, okay? You may not be prepared to have an assistant yet. You may not be prepared till your production increases. You may not be able to increase your production because you don't have some assistance. You may want to consider taking another agent in the office and the two of you hiring a part-time assistant. Maybe a college man or woman that goes to school from 8 until noon and they work for the two of you from, say, 1 o'clock until 5 and you delegate things to that assistant so you can stay out in the field producing. It's a thought. So let's look at some points on working with an assistant. The assistant's job is to handle all incoming calls while you're in the office. Now, I know this is going to sound tough. I want you, when you walk in the office, to hand your cell phone to your assistant because you're so distracted by the texts and the emails and the phone ringing. You can't work productively if you're distracted. Okay? When the phone rings in the office, you should not answer it. Your assistant answers. So I'm lucky to have Anna as an assistant. She can screen the calls. I don't have to take many because she screens, takes care of, delegates those calls for me. The second job is to handle all the paperwork because that is a big, big part of the real estate business. I, I remember listening to, I believe it was Richard Smith, the chairman of all of Realogy, several years ago when he made a comment and it really caught me off guard because it was so real. He said, it's interesting that you can walk into a car dealership and spend $125,000 to buy a beautiful Mercedes and do the entire process, including the contract, getting it all filled out, prepared and done in two hours and drive off with your new car. But if you buy a $125,000 home, it could take two or three months because the paperwork involved. We have to tighten up the ship in this business. And I, I remember looking at that and saying, boy, is he right? Well, it hasn't been any tighter since that comment was made. I wish it was. Their job is to handle the paperwork for you, which gives you the freedom. Now, here's what we have happen. You want to handle the paperwork so you feel busy so you can justify the commission. Number one, they should handle all your calls. Number two, handle all the paperwork. And number three, the assistant's job, and I want you to think about this, is to keep you on your schedule. For example, I'm recording right now for you. Anna comes in and says, you have to get in the studio. It's time. Here I am. So I have multiple bosses. I have my wife. I have Anna. I have my clients. I have my kids. I have more bosses than I have anything else. But without those people bossing me around, I'm not able to do the job I want to do. The second point on having an assistant. Whether you use an assistant or one of your affiliates, mortgage, escrow, title, etc., the key to production is the ability to delegate. You don't have to have an assistant to delegate if you have a good relationship with a mortgage company. Why do we push so hard for you to work with Finance America Mortgage? Because we know who they are. We know what they do and what they can do for you. 
You may have a separate mortgage company. Can you rely on them to get the job done? Can you delegate? Title company, can you delegate? If you're in the West escrow company, can you delegate? Delegate means to give away, give up authority, give responsibility, have somebody else do the job so you can go out in the field and be productive. Mike, now wait a minute. If I delegate everything away, I have nothing to do. Huh? Wait a minute. You could go out and take more listings and make more sales. Third point I want to bring up on assistance. To get the best results from your assistant, get your ego out of the way and let them do the job you've assigned them to. Quit looking over their shoulder. If I look over Anna's shoulder, she's going to reach up and hit me in the head with a pen. Okay? She's there to do her job. I, I've delegated to her. I've given her the authority, the responsibility. Okay? I have to take my ego, put it in the trunk of the car when I come in the office because you don't want to get into an ego battle over getting paperwork signed. The fourth thought I wrote down, the less times you touch a file, the better chance it has of actually progressing and closing. Gunther Kloss, one of my original mentors of the three I had, Gunther, Mike Vance, and Earl Nightingale, Gunther used to say to me all the time in that heavy German accent, you touch a piece of paper once and then you file it, Give it to your assistant or you throw it away. Well, that's really true, isn't it? You'll spend days, weeks, and months playing with a file. And that, of course, is creative avoidance behavior from going out and doing your job. And then the last point I want to bring up to you is praise and acknowledgement are important to everybody. Recognition is the number one motivating factor of human beings. The fastest way to keep your staff, your assistant, happy, in tune, and working is to recognize them for the work they do. But at the same time, don't hire a person because they're just like you. Because, see, you don't want to hire your twin. You want to hire a person who has efficiencies and has skills. They don't have to be like me. In fact, if they want to be like me, I probably don't want them because we don't need two Mike Ferries. One is bad enough. Okay, so I want you to think about what you're going to do in the area of working on administration and staffing and assistance because it may not be a vital part of your business today, but believe me when I tell you, there's going to be a point in the very near future when it's vitally important. Thanks for watching today. Watch this message every day this week. Talk to you next week.